everyone how you guys doing so in this video we'll be taking a look at project idx so i had signed up for idx a while ago i think it was like two months ago and today i received an email saying that uh, an experimental new project from google designed to make it easier to build ship and manage full stack multi-platform apps right inside the browser so let's go ahead and give it a try I'm sure most of you must have heard about this so you can create any environment and code in it entirely on the cloud so there is no need for um what do you say uh you know you don't need to set up your local machine with anything everything can be done in the cloud so let's go to the idx dashboard and actually see if i have access yes so this is the public preview welcome to project idx an experimental web-based development workspace from google so let's see so you have all these options right so you can see that you have an option to create a new web app write an app using a web framework or simple html css like vanilla html css and js and then you can see you can actually create a new flutter app because flutter is owned by google and they are like um, giving it priority after a web app and then you can create an entirely blank workspace i am guessing that this will be related to you can set up whatever environment whatever runtime you want like you can install it and you can use that just as you do on your local machine that is what i'm guessing but uh only until and unless we try it out we can be really sure import repo so this will be like connecting to our existing github repository and then installing the packages just like we do in our computer and then you have uh, of course python go ai and more that is a coming soon feature so i would like to try out something just for the sake of this demo you can see that there is some error already let me just go ahead and create flutter app let's name this idx flutter app Okay, I don't know what this is, but let's go ahead and create one. Okay, there's another creating the workspace. So, I don't know why this error is coming because I was able to create a web app the previous day. Okay. Let's see if it will work. It's taking some time. Setting up your workspace. Wow. Preparing VM, building your environment, finalizing. I can't believe that we have evolved in technology so much that we can develop mobile apps right in the browser. I mean, of course, it is with the power of the cloud that is there, but like imagine i personally know uh i had to upgrade my system like back in 2015 16 and all to uh you know to actually run android studio and all of its dependencies to run my project like you need to have like uh, uh, really powerful laptops like you need to have a good desktop or at least a macbook pro or something like that so here you can see the entire ide with everything with everything it is right inside the browser you have you like this is unbelievable actually oh okay there is also a preview of android ios and web of our flutter app this it's it's starting the preview this is really game changing guys so this actually means that you just need a above average laptop to build on whatever platform you want that is the power of the web right now see this is the boilerplate flutter uh like whatever flutter gives you like when you set up a project this is exactly the same thing there is nothing different ios preview android preview is loading not able to see it let's start ios preview let's see what is happening so you can see all the emulator details like number of connected devices and 
uh, and everything see this is running ubuntu 20.04 okay preparing for build build is queued hold i just may take up to five minutes so even though this is a little bit slow uh be aware guys this is just the uh, preview version you have pushed this but okay the okay the android preview is already there but i'm not able to see it uh full reload starting preview so there is some something different over here okay the android preview is already there wow this is a really game changing thing guys so we will come back to this later uh, but just so you know you don't need a local environment to do any of this so let's go back okay how do you go back this is actually uh, VS Code, <laughs> like this is exactly the same as VS Code, there is nothing uh, different, I don't see anything different. So Flutter app, let's delete this. Let's type delete to confirm the deletion, okay. It is a bit slow, but yeah, but like I said, it's a public preview. Okay, let's go to web app. Oh, you have Next.js as well. Angular, React, Next.js, View, Svelte. You can select whether you want it to be in JavaScript or a type in bundler. Name your app. Test tab. Let's go with Next.js and see. Why oh, is this stick? Enable next pulse workspace. No. I just want to create it for the sake of this demo. Let's see. Again, it is setting up your workspace. Preparing VM, building your environment, finalizing. Okay. And just so you know that this is entirely free so it's not like you you know you uh, spin up a vm on gcp or aws because that is paid uh, error opening workspace rpc failed okay there is some error there was some error when i was trying to open the flutter app as well but yeah that is to be expected because this is not the final version but this is really impressive the most important thing is reach so anyone can run anything now on their machine irrespective of their hardware resources you just need some good amount of ram for uh, for chrome so i hope there will be okay there is already a firebase integration button as well you have extensions there is source control you can push directly to your github repo this is next level next level guys so as you can see the next js boilerplate is here in front of us let's go to page.tsx okay preview i'm not able to see no oh, where is the preview idx ai start idx ai conversations no i don't want ai for now okay next js spoiler plate what if i delete this okay hot reloading live reloading is there see wow See, live re reloading is already there. So here, okay. So instead of this, let me just type. Let's see how fast this is. Wow, it reflected instantly. So yep so this is about the idx preview that i wanted to share with you guys uh, we can explore more of this in detail actually i want to build something using this uh, project idx uh, but that will we will do in later video so if you like this content please consider subscribing to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video take care peace